What's going on? Welcome back to another cube draft. Hopefully we can do better than one, two in our own cube. That would be, oh, we got a magma opus and a Garuda. That is a demon kraken if I ever saw one. And I have right there. I think we're taking magma opus. Magma opus is very close to the thing as I want to do in most, in most magic formats. Is there a Torrential Gear Hulk? I don't think so. But maybe I'll just cast it. As a former software guy, since anyway, they have so many bugged cards all the time. A suite of automatic regression tests would catch this stuff before. How so? He said. Tell me what you mean. Desperate ratings. Chandra Driss to kill. I do like ramping with this plus one red. In my head, it was like playing this is scary because there were lots of guys. Okay, well. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, uh. You have tested automatically try all these things and you can't check in your code unless the pen. Would that be the same on like a client like this? Like, is that a thing they could do? I'm going to take this Chandra. Oh, Jace. We just lost to a Jace. So obviously I think I should take it. Thermal Alchemist is interesting as well. I think we're trying the spells deck, but I'd rather have a Jace doing some Jacey things. Interesting. I would love to have you two, uh, who I both, who I respect both of you, uh, sit down with like MTG programmers and like see where the breakdown is. Cause I have to assume if it was that easy, they would do that, right? That would be the obvious choice. Like you're making it sound like it almost seems like improbable that they wouldn't do that. Right? Like <laughs> but also like think think of the cards like that have been that have been reported as being buggy avicen's judgment and um obsidat right like those are cards that do not see a lot of play at all those are completely like obscure cards that just don't show up very frequently on magic online Instant or sorcery, sure. This guy just seems great. I think I'm just taking Curious Homunculus. I want mana here. Um, Oh, let's take Blasphemous Act. That seems like it could be great. Yeah, I, I agree. It's definitely, it's definitely a uh, manpower issue versus how many cards are being implemented, right? There's a new set every three months plus there is like supplemental sets that are being released or like figuring out how to implement them on here. There's a lot going on. I think we're just taking moon ragers slash here. Yeah, Wizards isn't uh an M yeah, Wizards isn't an MTGO. It's it's wait, hold on. MTGO isn't under Wizards anymore, it's under Daybreak Games. Uh I kinda like Drogskull Reaver to splash. 
dual shot, but it's an Ixalan version. This should have been the Innistrad version. How dare you put the Innistrad version in this cube, you monsters? I kind of like this fat idiot. Yeah, I'm just taking Drog Skull Reaver. Oh, I do like an Elder Deep Fiend. Oh, I like an Aberrant Researcher. No, I was thinking this was the five drop, which I like a lot. This guy's actually just fine, though. Depends on how many spells we have, I guess. I don't think we're a Elder Deep Fiend deck. Yeah, I'll take the Researcher. I bet Delver comes back and we can just be a, a little Delver deck. Boros Reckoner, believe it or not, is not a horror card. <laughs> Uh, whatever Star Wars is an excellent type of library. We play it. Madness. Probably the only card we would consider here. It is when you have Blasphemous Act. Clearly. What was I thinking? Uh, Desperate Ravings seems like an easy pick here. Ludovic's test subject, eh? All right. Oh, overcharged amalgam. That doesn't really excite me that much. Eh, it's counterspell. You just gotta sack something, you know? Why don't you have War Mammoth? Why didn't you include Dark Ritual? It has the word dark in the name. Hmm. A valid suggestion. Uh, none of these cards are good for our deck. We'll take the mockery of nature. Okay. Oh, wow. That does make it easier to splash. You can go in here for now. I don't trust that we're going to fulfill that white criteria. Sulfur Falls. Okay. Bedlam Reveler. Arcane Infusion. Real instant sorcery, put it in your hand, put the rest on the bottom, then you can flash it back. Hard evidence. Do I just want the Sulphur Falls? I think I might just want Sulphur Falls. I'm hard for that evidence. Please leave. All right. Geist Flame Reservoir. Whenever you cast an instant sorcery, you put a charge counter on it. You can remove any number of charge counters to deal that much damage. Or you can exile the top card to the library. You can play that card. Lots, lots going on there. Trail of Evidence. Interesting. I'm going to take the trail of evidence. I think the investigation is a little better. What chaps my butt is that I really, really like double feature and the concept really lends itself to like a Frankenstein Dracula creature from the Black Lagoon and Mummy deck. And it's one of those cool one-off sets they'll never do again. Why does that chap your butt though? Your poor little chapped butt. 
Uh, Jacob Hawken is a looter. Which I do like. I also like Wretched Griff. Repository scab turns an instant or sorcery from your graveyard to your hand. I think we just want the looter. Also, Dinrova Horror is really sick. I'm a big fan. Or I want a braid. Hmm. I think I want a braid. Shit, why do I want a braid? Ah, just do. Ugh. Draw four, then discard two, unless you discard an instant or sorcery for five. Also, River Glide Pathway. Because I get OCD when I can't have matching card frames in a deck, I want an all blacked out deck. Yes. That, yes. I know that feeling when there's like, like for the cubes, for like my vintage cubes specifically, where I'm like, why doesn't this have a retro frame? Why doesn't this have a borderless version? Yeah, I'm just going to take the draw four. Ooh, I do like electrostatic field. We're going to kill them with, with kindness. And kindness is one damage at a time. Oh, I like Vexing Scuttler. Returns an instant or sorcery. Yeah, let's take Scuttler. Returning Magma Opus seems nice. Um... One damage at a time does sound passive aggressive. I agree with you. I'll take Flame Channeler. <laughs> Drolf Vision Visionary Stitcher. Zombies have float. Experimental Overload, create an XX where X is the number of instant sorcerers in your graveyard, then you may return an instant sorcery. Yeah, let's... Or Explosive Welcome. Both of these are good. This deals five and then three, and then you can add three, so it basically costs five the turn you play it if you want to play something else. I'm going to take Overload. I think it seems a little cooler. Arcane Infusion came back. I was kind of hoping it would. Is Duskmorn the next... Innistrad set? Hmm, interesting. Arlen. I'm tempted to take the Arlen. <laughs> Four mana Planeswalker. We also have Stomping Ground and Crag Crown Pathway. Duskmorn is like Cube Movie the set. I don't even know what that means. Duskmorn. I'm going to have to Google it now. Oh, Jacob came back. Fantastic. Oh, the it's the home of epic folk metal. So both of you guys are wrong. I'll take Avabrook. Duskmorn House of Horror. That's what we're looking for. Oh, Macy Rainforest is great if we are trying to splash green. Jeez. It inspires by 70s and 80s creepy horror as depicted in slasher films. That sounds amazing. What in the earth? Oh, that's cool. That sounds pretty sweet. <laughs> Is Jigsaw going to be in it? <laughs> Would you like to play a game? Oh, 
Elvenwald Mysteries. Oh, I like a consider. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, it gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. And then you flip it into a three, four, and then it gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Also Cathartic Pyre. Rune Chanter's Pike. What are we looking at in terms of spells? One, two, three. You're probably not going to make the cut. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a good amount. I do like a consider. I'm going to take consider. I feel like having a one mana. One mana little guy is probably going to be nice. Cost less if you have eight or more instant or sorcery cards in your graveyard. I think we're just taking Octavia, the Living Thesis. That sounds cool, and I want to get these. I want to get these spells in the graveyard. Mind Flayer steals a guy. That's pretty good. Light up the night. Oh, Tamio's journal. Yeah, I was also confused about that. I'm like, does it just all take place in this one house? Uh, this guy turns into a 4-4. Four, four. I think we're just taking Smoldering Egg here. That feels like a reasonable threat. Oh, there's Avacyn's Judgment, but we're not going to be... Um, we're not going to be madnessing it, unfortunately. Or fortunately, I guess. I think we probably take that. I think it's probably fine. Oh, steam vents? I'm going to play with fire. Five damage target creature or planeswalker if it's permanent or spirit. If the permanent is a spirit, it deals two damage to the permanent's controller. So it's eating on those spirits. I think it's steam vents, play with fire, or rending flame. Right now we have Sulphur Falls and no other fixing land for two colors. I kind of think I have to go with Steam Vents here. Oh, I like Maniform Hellkite. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well... So Toxril is actually in the maybe board of the of the cube. He's a consideration that I have as a slug horror. Resident Evil did manage a lot of biomes in a single house. That's an interesting point. Scattered thoughts. Look at the top four. Draw two. Geist Blast deals two, and then you exile to deal to copy something. I do like that. Oh, violent eruption. Four damage among any number of dudes. Yep, that seems good. That guy came back, and there's also a Rune Chanter's Pike. And I'm going to take the Breeding Pool because we do have Misty Rainforest. And maybe we play uh, Ren in seven. We're not going to play that, unfortunately. 
Uh, Alchemist Retrieval is probably fine. Light Up the Night came back? Wow, that's impressive. That's just a that's just a fireball. Biodome only had one biome. It was the dome. Oh, a sludge monster. Who doesn't like a good sludge monster? And a blue green land. So we now have the blue green and the red green pathways. I do like Arlen. Avarbrook Caretaker is really good, but I'm not sure if we want to play a double green card. We probably do not. I do like having access to Mockery in the sideboard. Call on Mockery. You play creature spells as they had Flash, and each creature you control enters battlefield with an additional plus one, plus one counter on it. That's pretty good. Also, the plus two mana here is actually very good. Yeah, we're going to play you... I don't really care. I don't really care about Aberrant Researcher. I don't think I do like Sludge Monster. Just making their guys two twos is pretty good. Okay, it's. I feel like some cuts are gonna be coming from here. Ludovic's test subject is a little mana intensive. Probably can do with that. There's only eight creatures. This is 26 cards. And one of the creatures is an electrostatic field. <laughs> but we do have Arlen. We're trying to win with Octavia. We have Magma Opus. Experimental Overload makes a guy. So that's actually... A, a quite a few more trail of evidence are you good enough sludge monster i didn't realize chat's mom was in the game <laughs> oh dear gosh i'm gonna take out desperate ravings and probably avison's judgment that leaves us with one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven spells, so still like half our deck. Do I want Trail of Evidence instead? Hmm. I do think I like this configuration. I also kind of like Weaver, Weaver of Blossoms as a creature. I think I like Weaver over Chandra, actually. Like, I want to be able to play some of these big mana spells. Okay, you can go over here. Okay, so these are blue, green, blue, red, red, green. Okay, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. That actually seems fine. I could even see taking a red out for a second green. So we have seven sources. Especially because if we play Bark Channel or Crag Crown as the non-green sides, then it's uh, all of a sudden not a green source. So...
We also have Mockery of Nature in the sideboard, which is nice. Also, we have Jacob Hawken, which means we can discard Violent Eruption to, to Madness it. It's a little slow, and it only has one red for this Violent Eruption. I think we can ship this hand. This does seem better. I think we can put back... I really don't want to put Jace on the bottom, but it feels like it might be correct. Get my little smoldering egg. Get egged on. Don't kill my egg. That's my egg. Geist Blast. Well, I guess we're just going to play Island here and pass. We have four instants in our hand, so. Oh, Curd Bros. Thanks a lot, man. Really appreciate it. Yes, apparently they mixed the Cartographia and the Innistrad cube together, which is not ideal. But then they fixed it. So, all was well with the world again. Making a vampire. You got it. Uh. All right, let's go. Let's consider our options. I want to put it in the graveyard. Oh, a little homunky. Little homunky. Do 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 do. We could just kill their Sora and put three counters on this guy. That seems good. Um, hmm. I feel like I do have to spend two cards on this, which makes me feel bad, but... Yeah, that just feels... Feels wrong, but correct. If such a thing is possible. Hmm. 
that guy's pretty good. Hmm. Well, fascinating. Uh, the subs on YouTube were about, like, 12.4. Well, that's not very nice. Boy, they're just playing mono-black planeswalkers over here. He died. So, ideally, we're going to Geist Blast... And Moon Ranger Slash. That is also a thing. Okay, I'm going to resolve this. What? No! <sighs> That's annoying. <sighs> yep. All my work for nothing. Yep, that's that's going to be pretty hard to beat. Okie dokie. <laughs> well, sounds good. All right. Well, it feels good to at least have lost to a bunch of different decks so far. So that's good. That's a thing that's that's appreciated. You're watching the legal break. Oh. Yeah, so Village Geeks, I just checked because I'm like, oh, maybe it's gone up. And then I'm like, nope, still 12.4, literally unchanging. It just doesn't move. Like, so subscribe, don't subscribe, do whatever you want. It doesn't matter. There's no point in anything. Life is Life is chaos. Let's yield to the end step. Don't be land. A little homunky.
Yep, Liliana's pretty good. Cost five. Sin Prodder is good. All their cards draw them more cards. So that's a bummer. Well, Geist Blast is, is good. A grave crawler. And another zombie. Okay. Hmm. Fascinating. Hmm. Make a 3-3, three, three, kill the messenger. We take two. Two, three, four. Liliana does hate homunculuses. Homunculuses. Terminal agony. <laughs> yep, seems good. Guess we're going to 11. Not going well for us, unfortunately. And we whiff. Over half our deck is instants and sorceries. Well, I guess a fourth of our deck. Which still means we should hit in one and four. Yep, one, two, three, five, six. I mean, we can play this. Exile this to see what we hit. And then Magma Opus next turn. Three, four, five, six, seven. We go to four. I'm at four. Demonic Pact. How fitting. Well, must be nice. <clears throat> so Magma Opus does not gain us life. Does not get rid of Demonic Pact. Yep, that'll do. All right. Well... We have hit the 01 bracket. <laughs> Good times.
Oh, good games. Take two from McGrim. You rascal. Yeah, that's yeah. Your deck was pretty good. Better than mine. Look, man, I just designed the cube. Doesn't mean I'm good at it. <sighs> Demonic Pact when I'm at four. Dirty. Absolutely dirty. Yeah, if I ever open Demonic Pact, I'm definitely just going all in on, on Demonic Pact and Harmless Offering. Also, if I open Liliana's Contract, I'm just taking all the demons I see. Let me know if you end up giving a Demonic Pact to someone. I would love to, I would love to know. Frank giving other players a chance to 3-0 his own cube. So touching. Yeah, I'm really just doing it for the people, you know? So, obviously, I've, I've drafted this, but, like, I didn't draft it to the point where I've been able to actually experience every single card. So, even now, I'm like, Octavia's cool, but she might be a little too hard to make discounted. And then at 10 mana, it's just, like, not good enough. So I'm definitely taking notes. Um, I think removal that exiles creatures and flame slash or removal that deals four damage is important. I'll keep this because of trail. And if we hit any red source, I'm going to be okay with that. Red source? Oh, a homunculus. Red source? That's not... No. I don't think we have any geists, no. I like that guy. Like, give, me, give me my version of that guy. Which is the same version. Same guy. So we can play egg here. And then... Put five counters on it next turn. Or we can just play... No, we can't play Jace next turn. Or we can play Trail now. And then get a clue. I think I'd rather have Egg here. I think I'm an Egg man, you know? They call me... Frankie Eggman. Yeah, there's definitely picks that I made because I'm like, this card is more fun than this card. <laughs> and I think that, uh, let's say it affected me. Tithe, could you let me know which cards? So far, people have told me Avicen and Obzidat. Um, are there any others that are that you found? Bygone Bishop, that's a good one. See, like right now, I'm like eight or more instants in your graveyard. 
Uh, blue red is just literally spells matter and like wizards and spells. So we can do this or we can play Jace. We're not going to play Jace. I also don't want to. I don't want to just pass here because then you get to flip this guy. So I guess I'll just use this Manus. Manus from under the floorboards. Oh, interesting. All right, I'm going to write that down as well. Yeah, if Madness isn't working on a bunch of cards, like, that's not ideal. Okay. Two, three, death stuff that just lets you pay two black when it comes in. Which one is that? Two, three, black death touch. The only two, three, black death touch I can think of is Varagoth. So what is his name? Varagoth? But that does not have an ability. Oh, Tainted Adversary. Yes. Okay. Interesting. All right. I'm going to document all these. That egg is smoldering. Obviously, I will discard an instant or sorcery with this many cards in my hand. Yes, Wally, I know. Please, please take it easy. I think we're just getting rid of Blasphemous Act here. I don't think we're going to need something that wide, and I don't really want to kill my own guys, so. Wally, you're looking very handsome, but fix your little beard. Wait, what? Oh, okay. You don't draw the card if you don't have right. Right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just have to light up the night her. Hmm. My kingdom for another red here, huh? So... For Light of the Night, we can deal... I'd like to still play Weaver. So three. We can deal four. No, we can deal three. Oh, that's frustrating. We could also just play Jason Bounce her as well. Or Bounce this guy. Which might be better. Yeah, I do like that. Because then they don't have any evasive creatures. We have easy blocks. And ideally, we hit a red source so that we can both abraid and light up the night. Flip this guy with one of them. Activate the ability with the other. And then we can abraid. And two damage to this, and then light up the night for four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. 
living in the perfect world. That's pretty good. Thankfully, all of these creatures have two power, not three. Oh, but I guess they draw it because what it changes the the toughness to three, and then you draw a card. Yeah, this card's good. It's an O four, but it's good. <laughs> okay, well that's not the one we're looking for, so I think we're gonna draw here instead. I really want to find a red source. That is not a red source. Neither is that. That's really ironic. Jesus. Well, this doesn't have... Guess we'll play you. So we can do this for four. I think we get rid of this, but also putting a counter on this and flipping it could be dangerous. Oh, hey, babe. I didn't even see you. How would I? Wait, what? Did you say something? Oh, my God. You did say something. Oh, we just win the match. What? Fascinating. What? That was weird. All right. Round three, I guess. That was a very interesting choice. I felt like they were doing fine. That's wild, man. Like, we were probably, I actually didn't know which to kill. Like, this gets to fly over, and eh, I guess we could have blocked. But then they deal two to Jace. A lot going on there. Well, that's a mulligan. That's a reluctant keep. We do have Jacob Hauken. Hauken. We'll keep and we'll pitch old sludge. Sludgy. green I do like that so when this guy flips for six mana at the beginning of your upkeep you exile the top card to library face down you may look at the card for as long as it remains exiled once during each your turns you may play a land or cast a spell from among the cards exiled um which is also why when you loot with this guy he exiles the cards red mana that's not really close to red mana. I actually think it's fine. We'll just play Weaver here. I think I cracked that vessel.
Ender's Battlefield Exile card from Graveyard. Spells cost one less for each type they share with cards exiled. For each card. With cards exiled with Cemetery Prowler. So if they exile an instant or a creature, then those things cost less. They got Lifebane Zombie Ishkana. Okay. Let's get rid of Egg. I think we're a little far behind. Uh, no, I will not flip him because I don't have the mana to do that. Yes. Do we look at them face up? Oh, it's... It's face, it's exiled face down, but I can look at them, so the opponent doesn't know what's what's under there. So that's good to know. So this is a pretty like it's it's much nicer to discard cards um, when <laughs> you don't actually lose them forever. I'll yield until the end step. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> Well, that's unfortunate. Mm, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'll just pitch Blasphemous Act. I will not flip again. A braid. I let's actually take a gander and see if we can hit like a land. Hmm. Hmm. I think that's probably better than homunculus here. Oh, what up, Cyborg Yui? Hiya, Dr. Nick. Hiya, everybody. All right, then I have five mana. Oh, Kessig Cage Breakers is a beast. I mean, it's obviously a human rogue, but, you know, usually it's a beast. Oh, that's that's what we're looking for. That's what Papa likes. Um, Yeah, so considering, like, how trounced we got in round one, I don't actually feel terrible for these decisions that I'm making. Pshh. I don't think there was any way to madness that. <laughs> Just making sure. Man, if this guy ever flips, he's giving me a bunch of mana here. Do we activate this presuming there's a land on top? If it's a good card... I don't really want to get rid of both a braid and the other good card. That's unfortunate. Hmm. It was a good card. I think a braid is just better here. This is any target. That's okay. I mean, worst case scenario, if we don't have anything to do, we can flip, flip you boy. So we know they still have Cemetery Prowler in hand. Hmm. Trail of Evidence lets us draw like basically all of these. And now this guy flips. 
So considering we can play cards from this, we're basically drawing two cards a turn. Okay, you got it. Get that volcanic eruption. Uh, the bug with Obzidat is that Obzidat just doesn't come back. He just stays gone forever. What did it just hit? Oh, a land. Yay. Let me get to draw. You don't get to cast it for free. Oh, without paying its mana cost. Well, you see, I did not realize it was for free. I thought it was just, you get all these cards and play with them. This has a lot of text on it, okay? I just want to defend myself and say, look at all this goddamn text, okay? So, that's why we didn't do it. And, uh, yeah, yeah, so, you know, there's that, uh, can we just play egg and then like put one, two, three, four, we don't have, we have one, two, three, we have six, seven. We can play egg and then flip this guy. I kind of like that. Are you winning at your own game, son? No, but that's okay. Let's kill this gentleman. This should flip it immediately. Beautiful. We could have also just dealt six to the face, but we don't really have a way to recur this. We could cast Moon Ragers slash. That puts them to three. And then we're kind of out of luck. They have four card types? They can just traverse for anything? Did they have four before that? Creature, enchantment, land. Yeah, they did. They got a mind rack demon? Okay. A mountain finally showing up. Oh, vexing scuttler, eh? Getting back light up the night. Okay. Well, this is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can we do another twelve? <laughs> or three. Nailed it. Hmm. So if this goes face and the two goes face, that's five. And then I can do this for two and that's all I have. Wait, I think we can do it. Let's go face, trigger this, go face. I'm gonna assume that we can do it without having any of the math done. Okay, we're gonna add a blue here, merge him, and then we need to pay three more. One, 
two, three. Get back Moonrager's Slash. And then we'll burn your face. Ooh, satisfying, satisfying. What was the best creature when you got into MTG? Um, God, when I got into MTG, that's a great question. Like Autumn Willow. Urnum Jin was my favorite, but it was it was past him being the best creature. Just trying to enchant my artifact. I don't think we're there. Flame Channeler. Um, oh, I, oh, dang it. I keep meaning to take the Olivia out, the Octavia out, because I just don't think she's meant to be cast. Like, maybe you're supposed to discard her and reanimate her. I'm going to keep this because of the Jacob Hauken. And it's much nicer knowing how this guy works now. Awkward. When I got into the best creature was Lol Memory Jar isn't a creature. So Phyrexian Processor Token. Got it. Uh, well, can, no, I have never got a Lab Maniac kill, no. I would be, f I would be very thrilled to see one, though. Oh, there's a Varagoth. That guy's a pain in the ass. But we can kill him. So, Gucci. Light Up the Night has been very, very good. The plus one is super relevant. It basically says what you, whatever you spend on this is how much damage is dealt. And we have so many lands to, to pitch, which is nice. The most oppressive standard deck... Interesting. Traveler's Amulet is nice with the Delirium. Because now you have creature, land, enchantment, and artifact. Hey, I came up with this cube. Did, did you? I mean, maybe on your own you did. Traverse for whatever they would like. They got Traveler's Amulet. They reeled the forest. Let's see what else they're getting. Oh, Ishkana. That's really good. Jeez. Well, let's yield, yield to the end step. The best creature card I started playing was Frankenstein's Monster, but that was only because we did not read it correctly. <laughs> this card is so good. Wait. No, no, we were all mistaken. I like an Abraid. I don't love an Ishkana. scariest card in terms of art that's actually a really good question I don't actually know off the top of my head but I bet I bet I can think of one actually a lot of the recent zombies from like commander decks are pretty wild 
Even the ones not from Commander decks are pretty wild. Also, there's a bunch of grotesque art in this, now that I'm just going over the list. Like, it's all pretty hideous. But, like, in a good way, you know? And, you know, in the best in the best kind of hideous way. Let's loot and see if we can hit a green source. Eh, that's actually something to play, though, which is nice. Um... We don't need triple blue. We do need triple red, so we can get rid of that. Say no. Play trail. Play mountain. And then we'll pass. I think we might, with Ishkana coming down, we might actually use Blasphemous Act to this game. That is a big, beautiful spider. Did they play forest? Yeah, so we don't know any of their cards. I mean, I hate to, I hate to get rid of this guy. I've been called handsomely hideous several times. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's, it's if you, you know, if you gotta go, you might as well go handsomely hideously. Sulfur Falls. I think we can probably pitch Weaver at this point. No. I think maybe we give it a turn or two. Next turn, if we draw a land, we can actually pitch Blasphemous Act, flip this guy, and maybe cast it. Eight, nine, because it only costs five. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter how much it costs once they... Yeah, I kind of like that. That seems like a fun plan. Also pitching Magma Opus to Jacob Hawken, Hawken, Hawkonen, Baron Harkonnen seems pretty good. No blocks, I will take fat six. Why can't I flip next turn? Yeah, I'm saying if I draw a land. I, I know, no, if I if I draw a land, I get to flip, right? Like, I play the six land, and then I activate. Okay. What is Triumph of Frosty? Oh, you draw a card uh, if you control a creature with greatest power or tied for the greatest power. Well, I'm not going to do anything here. I feel like Blasphemous Act is just going to be so brutal. Yeah! See, that's the ticket. Yes. Cast. Make a treasure. <laughs> yes. Excellent. That was a good that was that felt satisfying. That was a good sequence. That's a good one to just hit off the top. I'm glad you only have four instead of five. One, two, three, four, five, six. We get two lands off of this too, which is pretty nice. Oh, what's that? Experimental overload. How many cards? Two? I guess we'll draw for the turn, huh? Huh? Well, I would like to hit land drops. Let's 
Let's crack a clue here and see what happens. Green source. Finally, um, let's play you. I kind of just want to abrade Vampire Hex Mage. Is that any good? I mean, we're gonna. I think we're we're gearing up to Blasphemous Act here, or at least Magma Opus. So, because what I was thinking is vexing Scuttler on one of these guys to get Magma Opus back. But also, I just don't want them to draw from Triumph. They go up to four cards. I think this is probably fine. We also get the clue, so it's actually kind of free. Yeah, all right. I don't feel terrible about it. Oh, but they're still going to draw because of Foul Emissary, I guess, because we didn't play Homunculus. But... Whatever. There's a lot of things going on. So I have to assume they're going to play Blood Gift Demon because that guy's just bananas. So this costs seven, it would cost five to get back the thing. And then there's three creatures. So I need 11 mana. So I don't think we're doing that this turn. I really appreciate that you guys are having your very own horror themed <laughs> chat. <laughs> it's just like really intricate and, and you guys are really having a good, a good time. Well, let's play this. Uh, we're going to Opus. I think we're going to also Jace here for free, because that's cool. We're going to bounce the Emissary. Oh, uh, what are we getting here? I don't want to take any damage. We'll just get a forest. Cast. Done. Tap, tap. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Also, I'd rather Vexling Scuttler and get the, uh, get the Magma Opus back, so... They're at 17, so they're basically dead. Sludge monster. Yeah, I feel like our card advantage are probably, is pretty insurmountable. Trail of Evidence, uh, Hawkins Insight, Jace. Oh, Tovalar's Huntmaster. That's a good one. Oh, uh, I main phased Opus because I don't want them to draw with Blood Gift Demon. What is this? What's this? What's this? I can't believe my eyes. Oh, Arlen. Interesting. I mean, cast creature spells as though I had flash, and each creature you control enters the battlefield. With a plus one, plus one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Play? Hmm. What are we doing over here this turn? Probably this guy, right? And then get back Magma Opus? Oh, that feels good. Uh, okay, so we'll play Arlen. One, two, three, four. Uh, 
Uh, play this as face up. That's fine. I don't really. Um, plus one Jace. Bottom. Oh, that's fascinating. Hmm. Uh, I guess we're going to cast this. Look at all these clues. Oh my god, this is just so much stuff. I feel like we're really doing it here. And I know we can cast this at instant speed, but I'd really rather just get rid of this guy so again they don't draw a card off of their triumph. Get sludged on. Look at that sludge. Look at that sludge counter. <laughs> look at that goop. Uh, I don't think I want to attack here. I don't want them to block with this guy and just have a way to get him back. I think we can get a little more control of the board before we do that. I feel like we have a pretty solid advantage here. Oh, that's pretty good. They can sack this, this, and this. Or this, this, and this. They have a wolf and a 6-5, and then we get a sludge monster. We still have Jace and, uh, and Arlen. And Magma Opus. And Vile Interruption. And another Magma Opus. I feel like this is... Wait, what? Why did they get that? That shouldn't... That's not how that works. When you sacrifice Vile Emissary while casting a spell with Emerge, that's when you create a 3-2. That was not a spell with Emerge. Oh, no. Okay, so we're just documenting all of these things. Uh, Foul Emissary makes a 3-2 when sacrificed, even when not for an emerge spell. They also have 8 cards. We have 12. I thought we were going to have fewer cards, but... That is not the case. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. I would love to play both of these. I would love to go uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, but there's no way to have twelve. So here we are. I guess we can sludge this, make it a 2-2, and then we have Magma Opus to kind of clean up a little bit. Oh, we're not even in our main phase yet. Very good, very good. <clears throat> Smoldering Egg for free, because we get to play Magma Opus here. Just return the token because it's nothing. Two, two. You got it. I'm just going to make two wolves here. Play my land. Oh, we still have light up the night too. We could actually just 
remove some counters from a planeswalker and deal some damage. Cast three, one, done. Tap these two, done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do you think I'm ever going to crack these four clues when I have ten cards left? Feels unlikely. Let's discard little home monkey. Oh, they sacrificed Eaten Alive and the Pariah to get rid of the Sludge Monster. Which exiled it. That's a 10-10. What did we hit? Draw four? Oof. <laughs> That's... Not sure I want to do that with six cards in my deck. Okay, land. Fascinating. I mean, how much damage is this? 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then I just cast two spells? Yeah, that should be game. And we can just Volcanic Eruption here. One, two, three, four. And that guy too. And we can also Geist Blast them for two and then two more and then copy the Volcanic Blast while it's on the stack for two more. We actually had like probably 16 damage there. Actually, I'm very curious how much damage we did have. If we didn't even attack, right? So let's say there's still, what, four... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So they were at, let's say they were at 16. Uh, we Violent Eruption for 4, which is actually 6 because of the the dragon. So that's, that's 6. Um, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 mana untapped. I Geist Flame, Geist Blast them for, for 2, which is actually 4. So total damage is 6 plus 4. Um... The Geist, I then flash back Geist Blast to copy Violent Eruption. So the copied Geist Blast deals another two. And then Violent Eruption deals another four. So actually, I think we had Lethal in just between Geist Blast and Volcanic Eruption and Ashmouth Dragon. So not too bad. 2-1 though. I don't feel terrible about that. Not bad. Not bad. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons if you're on Twitch. It does make, or if you're on YouTube, it does make a difference. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, if you're on Twitch or YouTube, it doesn't matter. Wherever you are, press the button. I'll see you next time.